So we had a big week this week. Uh, Health and Human Services announced that they have approved Utah's Medicaid waiver, something we've been working on for quite a while as a state, has implications for those that, that need access to health care, to homelessness, across the board, something we've been working for a long time. Start with you, Representative King. Why is this a big deal? Well, it's a big deal because it'll bring $100 million uh, of extra money for Medicaid eligible population that mm -hmm. hasn't been eligible in the past. It'll reach about six to seven, six to 10,000 people that we haven't covered in the past. I'm so conflicted about this though, Jason. And I, I told, the speaker and I spoke about this the day it came out and I, because he gave me a heads up that it was coming and I said, you know, it's hard for me to be anything but really feeling negatively about the fact that just a year or two ago, we walked away from numbers on full Medicaid expansion that were so much more favorable for the state. For this 100 million, we have to pay 30 million to draw down 70 million from the feds. Full Medicaid expansion, if we had paid 60 million, twice that, we would have drawn down like 600 million you do the math. I thought Republicans were the fiscally responsible group around here. This is not a fiscally responsible action in terms of the, the limited Medicare, mm -hmm. Medicaid program that we passed last session from what we could have with full Medicaid expansion. That irritates me. I think Utah should be very unhappy about that big picture issue. Happy about the fact that we've got $100 million at great mm -hmm. cost coming to us, relatively speaking, at great cost. Okay, thank you. Courtney. You know, on a brighter side, this um, will help with some of the efforts that the state is coordinating. Operation Rio Grande mm -hmm. is to kind of draw down the homeless numbers in Salt Lake City. So this will help with, you know, drug addictions and treatment centers. And I think that this has been a really collaborative effort. You know, you have city, county, state leaders all working toward this. And this Medicaid expansion is going to get some funds for that. Oh, okay. Insightful. Um, not surprisingly, I'm going to disagree with my former colleague, uh, Representative King. I think Utah is going to end up looking pretty smart on what it did with Medicaid. Uh, the fact that the waiver was granted, that's a big, big deal. That's going to help a lot with uh, our homeless population, people who really need help. Um, but I think with the new administration, uh, the subsidies to the insurance companies are going to go away. I think that's going to impact coverage. I think the ACA, uh, some form or another, will, will be diminished. And to have built up a huge population that is dependent on that, then have the federal subsidies go away, that would have left Utah with a huge bill that we can't afford. I mean, since 2000, uh, Medicaid has moved from 8% of our budget to well over 20. Uh, if we were left holding the bag that I think is going to go away, that'd put it up 30, 40%. Utah did well on this one. Uh, are we going to see any real benefit to this Operation Rio Grande, as Courtney was talking about? Well, I hope so. Uh, you know, I think the Speaker's heart is in the right place. He's been the tip of the spear on this, to his credit. I think that uh, ta tackling that issue is a tough issue politically. A lot of politicians would say there's not a lot of upside to it. My hat's off to the Speaker in the sense that his heart's in the right place in saying we need to deal with these folks who are so vulnerable and deal with the law enforcement issue that exists on at Rio Grande. And so I like that. I, I appreciate the fact that this wa waiver is going to make more accessible uh, uh, mental health uh, treatment and, and substance abuse treatment. Those are all good mm -hmm. things and necessary and expensive. So that'll come in handy. And I want to see continued progress on a long-term basis. We need to stick with this. We're never going to solve the homeless issue, but we can make progress on it. Very good. Thank you for your comments on this issue. We'll follow this one closely. Thanks.